हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू स्किल चैनल माई नेम इज रिचा आई एम बैक अगेन विद नेक्स्ट वीडियो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मैन पावर प्लानिंग ये अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच यू ऑल आर वेटिंग फ्रॉम लॉन्ग एंड कमेंटिंग एंड रिक्वेस्टिंग मी टू क्रिएट द वीडियो ऑन दिस टॉपिक ये आई एम हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू मेक टू थ्री वीडियोज ऑन दिस टॉपिक विद अ डिफरेंट पार्ट सो फर्स्ट पार्ट विल बी जस्ट टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड वट आर वट इज अ मैन पावर प्लानिंग what are the different ways ratio analysis trend markov analysis monte carlo there are different techniques delphi which we use to do the manpower planning so in part 1 we are just going to learn what are the techniques and what type of companies use what technique and in part 2 we will be discussing about ratio analysis with a practical example we will be running a entire case study and we'll be doing it practically second we'll be doing a monte carlo or a markov analysis then we will be doing a delphi managerial estimate that's how we will be completing please watch all the 3 4 videos whatever will come for a manpower planning by after watching all the videos only then only you'll be able to understand the manpower planning concept in total i hope you are liking the skill deck channel if yes subscribe if you have not done yet hit like share comment and tell me what are the other topic other topics you want me to record also we have started a paid membership of a skill deck channel where you will be getting a discount on few courses of the skill deck even a discount of up to 20% on the recorded courses of skill deck you will be having a free access of certain videos which is not available for free you will be having an ex early access to certain videos and a lot many other benefits which you can check in the description box and i request you to support skill deck by becoming a paid member of the skill deck youtube and this is the time now let's go and let's start learning about manpower planning welcome to this comprehensive video on manpower planning today we will dive into understanding how organization can effectively plan their workforce using different forecasting technique from ensuring that there is always the right number of employees to forecast the future needs Manpower planning is very very essential for both manufacturing and IT sectors. We are going to break down some effective methods and then walk through an excel sheet in upcoming videos as i said. We are going to make two three videos on this where we will be seeing how these concepts are practically applied. We are going to learn the different types of manpower techniques mainly manpower planning means having a right number of people at a right place at a right time with the right skill set. that is called as manpower planning we are now going to explore the different type of manpower planning technique in video number 1 then practically from ratio analysis we are going to learn from video number 2 we have three main techniques to cover ratio trend analysis which uses the past ratio to forecast the future needs the markov analysis that focus on workforce transitions and the probabilities and monte carlo technique help creating different scenario using data like attrition and hiring rates we also use the managerial estimates where we don't have a data that is also a technique but that's sometime can give you a vague results and we also use a delphi means we hire experts to do that if you already know the ratio trend markov monte carlo then you don't need to go with a delphi because you know that what are the different techniques and you can do the manpower planning yourself mainly manpower planning is done by the hrbp or a strategy team to ensure that they don't have a shortage of a workforce whenever it is required so as we know that ratio trend analysis now you know that it uses a historical ratio to predict the workforce needs markov where we see the analyze the employee transitions between different states like promotion exit and monte carlo we use a statistical model to create workforce scenario based on data now if i have to choose the right technique for my company how i am going to use it so if we talk about ratio analysis it's mainly used in manufacturing retail and logistic the reason of the ratio trend analysis is what is the reason that we use it in manufacturing retail and logistic because they have a stable predictable operations where workforce needs are closely tied to production output sales volume and measurable metric ratio analysis allows to forecast the workforce requirement based on the quantitative factors so if your output has no relation with the input like my input is raw material 
output is unit or my workforce is not at all related to whatever the things that's there in the organization factors then ratio analysis is not going to help so let's take an example it's a bpo so obviously in a bpo ratio analysis is going to help because according to number of calls you need a workforce in a manufacturing ratio analysis is going to help because you know what is the fixed output you have to produce you know what is going to be the sales volume you know what is going to be the output and according to that now you have to predict the workforce but there is a uncertainty like you don't know it's it services small business startup where it's a highly volatile market we are rapidly changing environment is there you don't have a sufficient historical data then what to do in such cases one is managerial estimate that's called as judgment forecasting where we tell the managers only because of their intuition and knowledge they will fill the sheet and they let the strategy team or a hr team to know that what is going to be the approximately hiring in the next quarter or the next six months you can do that way but the right way is monte carlo technique mixing of both monte carlo and markov you can do because monte carlo is mainly for tech it financial institute and the large companies when you work in complex environment with multiple influencing factors and high uncertainty then monte carlo simulations are useful to test different scenario such as varying attrition rate varying market demands hiring challenges according to that if i want to predict the future then monte carlo is the right technique and markov analysis we use mainly for the large corporations service sector firms like banking insurance multinationals where i can say uh, you know companies with a large workforce where it's a structured hierarchy career path where uh, according to the employee transitions we want to see how much is the workforce it might we need it in the future that is called as markov analysis this is effective in scenario where internal moment is crucial for planning otherwise markov analysis will not play a important part so these all methods align with specific operational characteristics and workforce dynamic and that's why it makes more suitable for certain type of businesses over others so we have to first understand what type of business i am in i am and whether monte carlo ratio trend markov which type of technique will be more useful for me in a ratio analysis you uh, companies with a stable and predictable production sales volume it's suitable for them managerial estimate totally experience and intuition of managers project wherever there is a project based work it's better to go with managerial estimate monte carlo technology firms financial institutions pharmaceutical companies they should go with a monte carlo because it can handle uncertainty scenario testing risk management range of possibilities and associated risk all we can calculate in monte carlo markov analysis uh, insurance banking hospitality those large corporations they should do because we have to see you know how the movement of the internal workforce or the workforce is affecting the other and it also helps to create a backup plan so i hope you we have understood all the four types of anpa planning and from the next video now we are going to learn ratio analysis practically that how to do the ratio analysis practically by taking a data that will help to do the planning for your own organization if you are liking the video what we are creating hit like share comment share the channel with your hr fraternity keep commenting and let me know what are the other topics you want me to record also visit our website www.theskilldeck.com to know about our upcoming courses i will see you in the next video by then take care bye bye